Hello, this is Professor Sampson and this video is going to be on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide mixed numbers using your TI 84 plus and 83 calculator. First I'm going to start off using the upgrade in the TI 84 plus and then I will show you how to do it if you don't have an upgrade in your TI 84 or if you're using a TI-83. Right. In the TI-84 with the upgrade it's quite simple to do problems. So let's start off with a problem. Um, 5 and 5 sevenths times 1 and 1 fourth. If you have the upgrade it's quite simple to do. We spoke about the menu, the fraction menu. So again, just to recall that fraction menu, you hit alpha and then you hit y equals. And if you have the upgrade, that will pull up the upgrade. I'm going to hit the alpha green key here and then the y equals button there. And then since I'm putting in a mixed number, I'm going to go to number two, which is the mixed number. And as you can see, there are the little boxes that you can put in five and five sevenths. Right, pretty simple. You can teach a kid to do it times. Again, alpha y equals go back to number two, which is the mixed number, and I'm going to put in one and one fourth. And then it gives me the answer of 50 over seven. Now 50 over seven, of course, is an improper fraction. If you want a mixed number to change your improper fraction into the mixed number, you go back to that alpha y equals and you go to number three which says change an enumerator denominator to a mixed number. You hit that and you hit enter and it'll change your answer into that which is seven and one seven. Okay. Let's do another one real quick. Let's do a division problem. 7 and 1 fourth divided by 5 over 8. So a combination of mixed number and improper fraction. Mm -hmm. So you're going to again go to that alpha y equals key. You're going to go to number 2 and fill in the blank 7 and 1 over 4. Then you're going to of course put divide and remember you have to get out of there. Divide and then you go back to your alpha y equals and fill in that numerator denominator 5 over 8 and then you hit enter it gives you again a mixed number and then to go back you go back to your alpha y equals and then you hit number 3 and it'll change that into a mixed number if you so need one in this case 11 and 3 fifths okay it's pretty simple if you have the upgrade so uh, that works for the upgrade. But let's say if you have a TI-84 that doesn't have an upgrade or you have a TI-83. So let's see. I'm going to use a TI-83 here. Alright, so in the TI-83 you don't have the upgrade to fill in the boxes. So you have a choice in doing it. The first way that I'm going to show you involves using a double set of parentheses to indicate the top over the bottom. So for example, if I wanted to use 5 and 2 thirds plus 4 and 1 6 and I wanted to add those together and I didn't have the upgrade, if you recall that 5 and 2 thirds means 5 plus 2 over 3. But in order to do that, you have to tell your calculator that this is in essence 5 and 2 thirds together, and this is 4 and 1 6. So to tell your calculator that this is 5 and 2 thirds, you're going to put a parenthesis around it. But remember, as I spoke about in the other video, that in order to put in a fraction, you always want to put your fraction in parentheses, so your 2 thirds is going to also have a parenthesis. So let's see what that looks like. All right. We're going to put parenthesis right, 5 plus, now we need a parenthesis around our 2 over 3. Right? And then we have to close the parenthesis. If you don't have an even number of parentheses, uh, the calculator will give you an error. And then that's going to be plus the parenthesis 
So 4 plus parenthesis around that fraction 1 over 6 and then close your parenthesis then hit enter. Now remember you don't have the upgrade like you had before so you can't just take this and turn it into a mixed number. So what you're going to have to do is go back to the other way that I showed you how to get a mixed number using your calculator is you're going to have 9 right? and 9 is the whole number you're going to subtract out the 9 since we used it and be left with a decimal and any decimal to fraction you hit math enter enter so that's going to be math enter enter and you're going to get 5 over 6 that is one way to do it, putting in that whole fraction. Another way is to change these fractions into improper fractions and then just putting the parentheses around those individual fractions which keeps you from having to do a double parentheses. So in this case our 5 and 2 thirds, if you remember, you have to multiply these and add the top. So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So that's 17 over 3 plus 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25, 25 over 6. Now you can put that in the calculator and we're using a parenthesis around just the 17 divided by 3 and then plus your 25 divided by 6. All right. Now you're going to get a whole number which is 9 and then subtract it out and you'll get 5 over 6. If you hit math enter enter that will give you the mixed number of 59 over 6. And remember how we did before with 59 over 6. So you can do 59 over 6 and get 9, right? 59 divided by 6 which are remainder which are 9 and then you can do the same thing we did. Now if you had an upgrade you would be able to do the remainder function but we don't. So this is, these are the two ways that you can handle a fraction when you don't have the a mixed number when you do not have the upgrade. So let's do one more in this one. 7 and 4 fifths minus 3 and 1 third. All right. I'm going to use the method and just putting it in the way it is and making sure I have the right number of parentheses. So I have my parentheses. I have 7 plus my parentheses around my 4 over 5. Close that parentheses. Then I have minus my parentheses to indicate the bottom. 3 minus my parentheses around 1 over 3. Close the parentheses and don't forget to close the parentheses. Now it looks like I made a mistake there. I meant to put a plus. Right, so that looks correct. And now I hit enter, and I'm going to get four. And if I subtract the four out, and then I hit math enter enter because I have a decimal, I'm going to get four and seven over fifteen. And that's how I would do it if I had a calculator that did not have the upgrade. And just so you know, we can quickly check it with a calculator that does have the upgrade the last problem that we just did. Alright, so I'm going to go to alpha y equals number 2, fill in the spot 7, 4 over 5, go over, hit the minus, and then go back to alpha y equals, and then I go to 3 and 1 over 3. That gives me the improper fraction and if I want to change it I go back to my menu hit number 3 and it'll change it and give me my 4 and 7 over 15. So using both methods you can still get the correct answer just make sure that when you don't have the upgrade you either change it right into an improper fraction or you put it in correctly using all of the parentheses. And that's it on how to put multiplication, how to do multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction of mixed numbers in your TI-84 or your TI-83 graphing calculator.